Hi everyone, Suzanne here. I hope you're all well and welcome to So Custom. Today's video is going to be how I made the pattern for this little number. So this is the little t-shirt that I uploaded the making of, so the sewing up of last Friday. I asked you guys in that video if you wanted to see the patterning. You guys said yes. The patterning of this one is so easy. <laughs> I'm nearly embarrassed to upload it. You will need your block for this one, your kimono block. I shall leave linked below the book I used in order to draft mine. But anyway, if you're interested in seeing this really quick and simple patterning, then let's get started. So starting with the tracing, I am tracing here my kimono block. This kimono block is drafted from the starting point of the shirt block and the shirt sleeve. I shall leave the book linked below that lays out all of the instructions for drafting. But for this pattern, I am just tracing that block, making sure I'm transferring my markings. And I've shortened the sleeve from the block five inches. So for my block, the sleeve is elbow length and I want this to be more sort of t-shirt length. So I've taken five inches there off the sleeve, just drawing in my waist. And now I want to take a few inches off the length of this one. So I'm measuring up from the hem three inches and marking in my new hem. So that's that done. So three inches off the hem. And now I want to reshape the neckline. So I want this to be a t-shirt that I can just pull over my head. So I'm taking one inch off the neck at the shoulder and just redrawing in a nice curve for the new neckline. Just adding a one centimeter seam allowance, the whole way around and labeling. So this pattern is for knit or woven. This is my back. I shall cut one on the fold. And now on to the front. So doing exactly the same thing here again. So tracing my kimono block, tracing down to five inches up from the sleeve hem. So that's that done. Just drawing in the end of my sleeve. And as I say, same as the front, I've removed five inches from the length there. Drawing in my waist. And doing the same thing on the front as I did on the back. So removing three inches from the hem. The whole way across. And as I say, I want this to be a t-shirt that I can just pull over my head without any openings or fastenings, I should say. So I'm reshaping the front neckline also. So I've come in from the neck point on the shoulder, one inch, and I've measured down the center front at the neck one and a half inches. And now I'm using my hip curve ruler to draw in a really beautiful curve shape. So that's my new neckline. So just marking in there, one inch removed from the neck shoulder point and one and a half inches removed from the center front neck point. And now just to add seam allowance the whole way around, to label. So this is my front. I shall cut one on the fold. And 
and now I've decided I want to put a yoke in the front. So to do that I'm measuring down four inches from the neck, popping in a little dot there and then at a right angle to that measurement I'm just going to draw a line straight across. So the part on the left will become my yoke and the part on the right will be my front bodice. So I've just separated those two pieces and added a one centimeter seam allowance to both and just to label the yoke then. So the same as the front, I'm going to cut this one on the fold and I've put one there but I actually come back and scribble that out and put two because I'm going to line this piece as well. So that is this pattern complete. So I have my back with my nice neckline shape. I've reduced the length of the hem. The front I have my yoke, my nice new curve around the neck and my front bodice with the hem reduced. And once it's sewn up, this is how it looks. So I love how this has turned out. The pattern is super quick to draft, really straightforward. And the best thing about this one is it's for woven and knit fabric. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed, please do. And I shall see you on Friday in my next one. Until then, I hope you have a fantastic week. Bye folks.